quite late last night um, editing and getting out the video from yesterday. So I woke up a little bit later than usual this morning, but it's good. I'm feeling a little tired this morning, but I just really wanted to get that video out. I took a few days off from making videos just to kind of like chill and recuperate, get re-inspired. And I was really inspired to make a video yesterday. And when I get really inspired and passionate about something, I like need to do it and need to do it until it's done. And I'm not gonna stop until it's done. So yeah, this morning I just woke up, had some water and I had some melon for breakfast. This is probably the best cantaloupe I've ever had. It's so good. It's butter. Whoa. Oh, fuck. There's hair on it. It was really really good despite being tired and feeling really good and feeling positive and happy and just like good good bad this morning um so i'm going to get outside and enjoy this beautiful day because it's absolutely gorgeous out today and I'm going to go for a run and then probably come home do some at home workouts and just enjoy the sunshine because it's beautiful and the past couple days have been like cloudy and cold and like so it's a nice change I'm gonna enjoy it all right let's go Banana tree goals. quick I just cooked them with some soy milk um, some chia seeds some cinnamon and then I just topped it with some bananas strawberries and chopped walnuts and I'm so excited and you gotta put milk on top afterwards because it makes it like porridge and it's just so good that is a damn good post-workout meal let me tell you mm. all right guys so it's been a few hours i had a shower i finished up some work that i needed to get done from this morning and i also just sat outside and enjoyed the beautiful weather for a little bit because it is absolutely gorgeous out it's so nice out but now I'm hungry for a little bit of lunch, so I'm gonna whip up something real quick because I'm real lazy right now and don't feel like cooking anything. Let's do it. So the 
is my really quick and easy lunch. Literally took me like two minutes to prepare. Well, the burger patties I already had prepared. But yeah, so I just chopped up some romaine, some spinach, um, some cucumbers, some fresh tomatoes, and then these are sweet potato black bean burger patties made with rice and oats. Um, I was feeling something fresh for lunch. Like I wanted like a salad or something, but I also wanted something satiating. So I had these leftover burger patties that I made yesterday. They go really well on salads and on rice bowls. And this was just like the perfect quick lunch. And I like making these burger patties because I can save them in the fridge or save them in the freezer and then I can have them as like sandwiches or put them on bowls or have them as burgers or whatever. And I also have a recipe for these burgers if you guys haven't seen them already. I'll link the video up above and I'll also link it down below if you want to check that out. They're really simple and easy to make, like not time consuming and not like a lot of prep work. So it's perfect. And then I just topped it off with some um, tomato sauce some pepper, and some sesame seeds. And le voila. Let's taste test. The burger just adds that like barbecue-y taste to the salad and it's so good. And after you make it look pretty, this is what you do. All right, guys, I swear I wear, I wear this in like every video now. <laughs> I'm about to make dinner and I've got some leftover rice from last night and Kyle bought this, tempeh. I have never, I don't even, I think I've maybe had tempeh once or twice, but I've never cooked tempeh or like made anything with tempeh before, so why not try it out? <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna kind of make like a veggie stir fry with the rice and the tempeh, sort of how I make like my like rice with like the tofu and the vegetables, if you guys have seen that before. And yeah, hopefully this turns out. Let's see. <laughs> So excuse the horrible lighting. <laughs> oh you scared me so bad. I'm like, okay. what is he doing? I'm like, what are you counting? Three, two, one, sneeze. Do you like it or no? I love it. Really? So good. You're bouncing up and down, you'd like it. <laughs> it almost tastes like meat. Move over a little bit. Like meat? Don't you think so? I think it's because it's so salty, it tastes like meat. This is our first time having tempeh. It'd be better if I had a nonstick pan so it would actually like fry and not just like be like sticky because of all the water, but it still tastes really good. High five! This bump? Turkey. I have to do comment of the day because you guys really like doing comment of the day. Mister's idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, there was 
you guys left me so many on my last what i eat in a day video it was insane it was so hard to choose but thank you all for leaving me comments because that was really nice today's comment of the day is by becky lynn marie maddie thank you so much you are such a genuine person and shine so bright i always look forward to watching your new videos you truly are an inspiration not only of healthy eating but of life that's so nice <laughs> You're always so happy, full of energy and positivity. It's truly amazing. I'm currently transitioning into a plant-based diet and your meal videos and what I eat in a day videos are super helpful. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and your creativity with us all here on YouTube. That was so nice, very long. <laughs> um, okay, question. In your opinion, what are some important staples to have in the kitchen for those who eat plant-based diets? What do you think? Rice, potatoes, vegetables, frozen veggies, beans, lentils. Rice. You want to have beans, your potatoes. What did bananas, I just said? Bananas. <laughs> yeah, bananas. Your favorite foods because yeah. you're only gonna eat your favorite foods. You want to have like a stocked pantry or a stocked kitchen like 90% of the time so you're not like oh my god I have no food what am I gonna make and then you end up eating something you shouldn't be eating or whatever you know having uh, stuff having like stuff in abundance is okay mm -hmm. too because you can freeze things like buy boxes of bananas if you really like bananas and then you can freeze them and you can make banana ice cream and like potatoes potatoes don't go bad super quick stock up on a whole bunch of potatoes rice like never goes bad oats beans lentils you can buy those dry and they last forever mm -hmm. i hope that answered your question <laughs> Lynn. <laughs> well we're gonna enjoy our dinner together thanks for joining me in this goodbye of my video. see you in the next video tomorrow or the next day <laughs> All right guys, so that's it for me. I'm gonna finish my dinner, have some dinner with Kyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you want to leave me a comment of the day, if you want your comment or question or both featured in one of my next videos, leave it down below. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys 